Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Brandon, and we've got some organization to do today. So most of us have that area on our property that we store all our stuff, or it seems to be the place that collects everything. Well, I have one too, and I'm going to hopefully clean that area up today. It's not too bad, but we've got an upcoming welding project because of it. One view that you don't probably see all too often is the one that I really don't care to show because it's the collect-all. It's uh, where all my things seem to just build up and collect. We all have them. It's the way it is. But what we're going to do today is put some brackets up here. They're just going to be simple brackets. I'm going to take this pallet apart, I'm going to take all that wood, we're going to stack it up, make it look nice, neat, and orderly over here, and a little bit of a spoiler alert, that pallet that you see, and that wood, that little bit of metal that you see behind it, that's for an upcoming project that I'm really excited about. And here's a quick diagram, we're coming up 16, we're coming across 16, up 3, and then we're going to put some screws inside the wall. Alright, so here's a neat way of doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in three inches. That'll be the side that goes up that I just showed you on the diagram. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a pie shape out of this section. So there's a 45 there, and we'll make another 45 there, and that makes up the 90. Oh, my juleper just broke here. Let's get the juleper out. There it is. So we're going to cut out this section right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold that up and make a 90. Piece of cake. Then from that point right there we're going to come back 16 inches. We're going to do the same exact thing. Fold it up again and we'll have our bracket. advantages of doing it this way is that for one it makes welding up things a little bit easier because they're actually not in pieces they're kind of like all self-contained as you can see here plus it makes the outside lip that's visual the part that you would see completely smooth because that's the part that's folded over so there's no grinding or anything else and what I could have done on these but I, I didn't I opted not to is on the three inch piece I could have capped the the top of those probably should but you know <laughs> I just wanted to get it done I just want to get the brackets on and get it looking better over there I could always put on a uh, little rubber cap at some point now here I'm just drilling out the brackets um, keeping the holes pretty much to the upper two-thirds of the bracket because that's where all the weight is diameter by three and a half inch long lag bolt and I'm just pre-drilling into the siding and then into the actual wall studs themselves just so it's nice and secure and nothing split. And so here we are. We got the brackets all up. I've taken that pallet all apart, which I'm loving that. That's an upcoming project, and I hung the extension ladder below it. So now I just kind of have to slap on some paint onto the side of the uh, shed, but other than that, much better over here, and I still got to get, uh, get rid of those parts over there. Until the next project, this was a necessity. We had to do it. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.